हेलो एवरीवन टॉपिक फॉर टू डेज डिस्कशन इज नेशनल सिकल सेल एनीमिया एलिमिनेशन मिशन दिस एलिमिनेशन मिशन वाज लॉन्च्ड ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई फ्यू डेज एको बाय हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर एंड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया दिस मिशन वाज लॉन्च्ड फ्रॉम शहडोल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड एम ऑफ दिस एलिमिनेशन मिशन नेशनल सिकल सेल एनीमिया मिशन एलिमिनेशन मिशन इज टू एलिमिनेट द सिकल सेल एनीमिया बाय ईयर 2047 एंड दिस डे द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द सिकल सेल जेनेटिक स्टेटस कार्ड्स टू द बेनिफिशरीज दिस एलिमिनेशन मिशन प्रियोरिटाइज द हेल्थ ऑफ द ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी वाई we will see about this in details in subsequent slides this mission targets to screen the approx 7 crore people who are of under 40 years of age and this screening has to be finished in next 3 years the people who are having sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait they can match the sickle cell genetic status card before the marriage and accordingly they can take decision about their marriage so that this disease should not transfer to the next generation now let's discuss how this elimination mission came its uh, its present existence as we know that this sickle cell disease which is a genetic blood disorder that impacts the tribal section of the society significantly as as per the census of 2011 the india is comprised of tribal population contributing 8.6% of the india's population and because of that this uh, elimination mission started by the government has committed to eliminate this disease before the india celebrates its amrit kal so what is this amrit kal as we know that india is going to celebrate its 100th anniversary in the year 2047 so this is known as amrit kal so uh, because of this reasons the prime minister of india launched that this uh, national sickle cell anemia elimination mission from sadol on 1st of july he stated the prime minister stated that this elimination mission should take a comprehensive approach to combat against this sickle cell disease as the impact of disease is not only felt by the patient but this is also felt by the whole family this elimination mission combines the screening and awareness strategies to ensure the early detection of this disease and appropriate early treatment for the same so that the disease can not be transferred unintentionally from one generation to the next generation on this day the prime minister also launched the guidelines for the sickle cell anemia elimination mission he also launched the training modules for primary secondary and tertiary care for the medical officers the staff nurses community health officers auxiliary nurse midwives anm and accredited social health activist known as asha workers he also released an awareness module for the sickle cell disease for non health functionaries for parents teachers and also he released a counseling module for the patients the caregivers and the pregnant women the prime minister also handed over the sickle cell genetic status cards to the beneficiaries as we can uh, see in this picture and this uh, national sickle cell anemia elimination mission is a, a joint work of ministry of health and family welfare and ministry of tribal affairs 
to combat against the sickle cell disease and to ensure that the health risk faced by the tribal communities are significantly reduced due to this reason there will be screening carried out in approx 278 districts of india covering age group of 0 to 40 years who are belonging to the tribal population tribal community as the spread of the sickle cell disease is genetic in nature so uh, the people who are from high burden states there are 17 high burden states in uh, these states people will be advised to match the sickle cell genetic status card before the marriage so that we can ensure that this disease will not be transferred to the next generation now let's discuss about uh, the background of this national sickle cell anemia elimination mission so this mission uh, elimination program was introduced first time in union budget of 2023 the month of february and the uh, health minister he addressed focus that the there are significant health challenges are there because of the sickle cell disease most particularly among the tribal population of the country he also mentioned that this sickle cell disease is a chronic single gene disorder which causes various debilitating systemic syndromes characterized by the chronic anemia the acute painful episodes infection of the organ and chronic organ damage and this ultimately reduce the life expectancy of any patient having sickle cell disease so uh, government of india has planned to implement this screening program in 17 high focused states so that we can improve the care and prospects of all the patients having sickle cell disease and we can reduce the prevalence of the disease so this 17 states are gujarat maharashtra rajasthan the madhya pradesh jharkhand chatisgarh west bengal odisha tamil nadu telangana andhra pradesh karnataka assam uttar pradesh kerala bihar and uttarakhand this program will be executed as a mission mode under the national health mission and the ultimate aim is to eliminate this sickle cell genetic transmission by the year 2047 for that under this elimination mission we need to screen the approximately 7 crore people about this sickle cell disease over a period of 3 years starting from 2023-24 to 25-26 now let's see what is this sickle cell genetic status card here in this picture we can see the sickle cell genetic status card how does it looks like this uh, genetic cards are color coded identity cards and this will be distributed to tribal population who are of age less than 40 years and this will be used before the marriage uh, negotiation happens and the two cards of male and female will be matched during the marriage negotiation and after that we will assess the risk to the children who will who would born after the union and based on that the decision about the marriage will take place this card will be issued in two colors the blue color for the male and the pink color for the female and apart from that uh, this card will consist of details in respect of a specific id number of the concerned person the detailed address of the person about the blood group and the test type applied to detect the sickle cell status and on the back side of the card the details or chances about the possibility of having any child with a disease will be mentioned on the back side here uh, we can see that uh, this is blue card card for the male and this is pink card for the female this is the front view of that card which uh, consists of a specific id number and uh, other details including address complete address here you can see the blood group also and the status of the person about the sickle cell disease on the back side this is the back side of that card from which which we have to match the 
status of the sickle cell disease the back side of cart can uh, look like this also and uh, this can be uh, termed as sickle kundali which will be matched before the marriage as we match the astrology kal card before the marriage this is the simple method of the matching of this that sickle cell uh, card as we can see that uh, if both the parents are sickle cell disease then the all the children who are going to born from this matching will have sickle cell disease if one of the parent is sickle cell with a disease and another one is trait or carrier then in that condition the 50% of the child would born with sickle cell disease and 50% with carrier if one of the parent is with sickle cell disease and another one is of normal then all the children will be carrier for the sickle cell disease if both the parents are carrier then in that condition the 25% of the child will have the disease sickle cell disease and about 50% will have the carrier status if one parent is carrier and another one is normal then 50% will be carrier and 50% will be normal coming to the screening test for the sickle cell disease which will be applied in the country so this test is known as solubility test or and this is based on the test tube based turbidity test and this will be used for the mass screening for the populations and there are some characteristics of this test as this test is rapid test it takes only 5 minutes to give the result it is a reliable test with minimum observer variation for this test we need not to use any microscope it requires a very small amount of blood sample and it is a very cost effective test apart from that the sensitivity of this test is 100% the specificity is about 91.66% and the positive predictive value of this solubility test is 80% and the negative predictive value is 100% coming to the confirmatory test of this sickle cell disease so this is known as point of care test to confirm the uh, sickle cell uh, disease status and this point of care test is validated by the government of india for the mass screening when we see the cost average cost of this test so the average cost will be of rupees 100 however the this cost can vary depending upon the quantity of test and the source from which we are buying the test kits through the gem portal the good characteristic of this test is that it can be performed by the staff with minimal training and it can distinguish rapidly among the normal carrier and sickle cell disease person using this single test and this single test is with high sensitivity and specificity and we again we need not to send this sample again to the district hospital for further uh, confirmation the uh, other tests apart from this point of care test for confirmation of sickle cell disease are liquid chromatography test which is again with high uh, sensitivity and specificity and we can also use another test that is known as capillary zone electrophoresis or gel electrophoresis so coming to the conclusion of this presentation that to eliminate the sickle cell disease from the country we should use the coordinated approach among the government the health personnel and the tribal population we have to establish the maximum number of blood banks for the patients and also we need to arrange for the blood marrow transplantation in a enhanced manner and so that uh, because of all these methods steps the screening of sickle cell disease can be revamped so we have come to the end of this presentation thanks for watching this video please like and share this video with others thank you so much